Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today it's about uh, Piwigo and how you can self-host it. So first of all, what is Piwigo? Piwigo is a free software image gallery such as Flickr but as a free software as an open source solution under GPL v2 license. So to make it simple, it's a social network in order to post your pictures on it and then people have the possibility to interact with your picture by leaving some comments. Um, as most of the free software such as WordPress, Drupal, and so on and so forth, you have the possibility to add plugins to Piwigo in order to enhance the use of Piwigo, and you have the possibility as well to make Piwigo uh, yours by adding some templates of the image of your company or a peer or organization. In order to install Piwigo, what you need is Apache, so that's a web server. You need as well to have uh, the database MySQL, and as Piwigo is running under PHP, you need as well to have PHP. Just to let you know that it's even easier to install Piwigo than WordPress, Matomo, Moodle, or even PHP list. So let's get started. So I created a brand new uh, installation of Ubuntu that you can see up here. And I have nothing installed on it. I just downloaded uh, Piwigo, so now it's available, but I do not even have Apache. I do not have even MySQL and neither PHP. So the idea is to go through the full tutorial in order for you to be able to see uh, how you can local um, install Piwigo. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to have is actually to have Apache too. Okay, so if you go over here and if you just type in for local host, you will see that I don't have it installed. Okay, so I don't have any web server yet installed on this computer. That's what I will install. So of course, if uh, you already have um, Apache installed, you don't need to do that again. Okay, but for Piwigo, in order to run it, you need to have Apache on it. Okay, so that's what I'm currently running on. And then I'm preparing the next request, which will be about installing the MySQL server, which will be the database on which, of course, all the data will be uh, recorded in order for Piwigo to run the software. Okay, so if I look over here, I will see that it's almost finished to download. And once it's done, I will refresh my page and you will see that Apache uh, will be properly installed. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, down. So now, okay, I have my Apache running. So that's great because it means that now I have the possibility to transfer the software Piwigo, which is right here that I download to this given folder, which have been created under uh, var dub dub dub, which uh, represent the file location where Apache will uh, look for the file. So uh, first of all, let's go. I think it's in it's in download. That is okay. Downloads. Okay. If I look into downloads, I will see that I have my Piwigo that I just uh, downloaded. So now I can move uh, Piwigo. So I'm going to do like, uh, uh, I think I can just do like MV. So MV Piwigo. And I'm going to move it into var and dub dub dub, which represent the uh, location where Apache expect to find it. So now I can do like CD var dub dub dub. CD var dub 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 and now you can see that my uh, piwigo file has been transferred there and now i can in fact unzip it so i can do sudo unzip and unzip piwigo okay and now it's unzipping piwigo so i guess that now i have one folder which is named piwigo so if i go over here and i just type in piwigo I will see not found because probably I made it uh, wrong. I should have moved my uh, Piwigo folder within the HTML one. So let's go for another move. So sudo mv Piwigo and to HTML. Okay, and now I have cd HTML. Yeah, my Piwigo within it. And if I just load this, it should be fine. Okay, blah blah blah, and it's telling me that. I don't know if it's fine or not. Probably I need to move as well the index. That's something that you can see up here, but I'm going to leave it like this because I guess it's just that it's waiting for something to come. Okay, um, so now next step is about my SQL. So I'm just going to do these parts now. sudo apt get install my SQL server. Okay, so it's going to download it now. Okay, so probably the time for me to move index.html so cd we said it was piwigo piwigo and do i have an index over here 
No, yeah, I have an index.php, so probably there's a good reason why this page was showing up. Okay, so now let's wait um, for it to download everything. And once my SQL will be uh, installed, I will go for this one in order to install PHP. Then I will restart my web server. And now I could uh, start actually to install uh, PWGO. But first, let's look at the installation guide. And we're going to see that it's exactly I know the same step I'm going through. So install guide. Do -do. Okay, so manual installation, that's what we want. Yeah, so this is what I did. I just downloaded it. I unzip it. I transfer the file. This is what I did when I move it to var dub dub dub. And if I go down the page, you see that the next step once my MySQL server will be installed and PHP as well will be the configuration. And as you can see, the configuration, uh, you don't have much to do. Actually, there's only one tiny trap, which is that you need to create the database first. So that's what I will uh, go through when the MySQL database will be on. Okay, so it's still downloading and installing the MySQL server. So I have to wait a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna prepare the next step, which is about installing PHP. Okay, so that's the next step. Now let's install PHP. This one should be faster. And then once PHP is installed, we're gonna fire this one. Okay, I'm just going to double check if PHP is on. I have the feeling that PHP is on, so maybe I don't even need... Oh, actually, I think I that was PHP that I started. Okay, so now I just restart it. And, and now I should be all good. So if I refresh this page up here, okay, here we go, it can down, no, da, 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 da. Okay, my SQLE is not loaded. Okay, so here it's telling me that I need to have as well the PHP extension, which is called my um, MySQL E. So I'm just gonna go on a search engine and just say how to install, how to install MySQL E. Yeah, I'm just gonna press I. I should have precise actually, that's for Ubuntu. So Ubuntu, okay, got it. And It just should be one line of code or something like this. And uh, mm, okay, not sure about this one, but just for the sake of this video, that's what I'm gonna do. So sudo Okay, sounds good because here I got like the MySQLE. And I'm just gonna restart the server. That's just what I did. And let's remove it back. Okay, and get this page. So now we are happy. So now, as you can see, PWGO is asking you for the database configuration. So what he's asking here is to have at least one user within the database and to have a database name. So this is not something that we have yet. 
So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go down this page and I'm going to go within MySQL. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here and just say, okay, so do MySQL. Okay, I'm in within MySQL now. So now I'm going to create a user. I'm not going to call it uh, John and John Do. I prefer not. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to give the password that I'm used to. Okay, so in my case, it's going to be root as a password is going to be root as a user. Okay, never do that, of course, if you are using it on a live installation. In my case, just local, so that's okay. Error, okay, create fail for root local was okay. Um, create user, mm -mm. not sure what's going wrong here. Um, so I'm just gonna then, in this case, pick up the one that I have. So just gonna pick up the one that can do. Okay, so, well, anyway, it's going to be named John and John Do. Then I'm going to give the privileges to, um, so in my case, that should be, um, I'm going to create the database first, okay? I'm going to call the database, P we go. So, okay, create, okay, so it's just a create that I need to invoke and create database, create. That days P we go. Okay, so now I have a database which is named P we go, and now I need to give all the privilege to this given user. So to Matomo, I need to just change the name Matomo and it will be fine. So on P we go to John. And was it John? Yes, it's John. So I'm happy. So like this. So now I have a database. The database is named Piwigo. I have a user in my database. This user is named John. He has a password, which is uh, John Do. And he has all the privileges to manage this given table. So now I can exit my SQL and I can go over here. So I have one user. This user is named John. This password is John Do. I have a database which is Piwigo. Here I can leave the database prefix as it is, and now it's expecting actually to have um, a classic user. So uh, it's uh, it's the user who will have access to the website of Piwigo. So here I can repeat my. My password doesn't matter. I'm just going to unsubscribe because it doesn't make sense here. I'm going to start the installation. And as you can see, congratulations, your Piwigo is now uh, running. So I can already start the tour and I can already um, play with my Piwigo. So as you can see, it's very straightforward compared to, um, let's say, WordPress or even a Matomo or even a Moodle. It's even faster than this. Once you are here, you can easily uh, create your own album. You can, uh, so it's going to be my first album, my first album. And then you can easily upload the different pictures that you have within your, uh, so within your, within your album. So in my case, it's going to be this one. I'm going to just uh, upload, upload my first picture. Oops. Okay, GD library is missing. So here it probably means that I need as well to install another, oops, sorry for that. I know how to install GD library. GD library in Ubuntu. Okay, so probably that's an extension PHP. Okay, PHP GD. Let's go for it. I'm gonna get a command line that I will need to execute. Okay, so the K is it okay. Uh, in my case, I think it's on PHP 7.2. So I'm just going to check back PHP V. What is my version of PHP 7.2? So sudo pdada. And probably this is going to be this one. Not 100% sure. Let's check. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Do I need to restart Apache? We're going to see that. Um, so if I refresh this page, GD library is still missing. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, so we are just going to 
restart Apache. Just restart Apache. Okay, and now I can add my pictures to the gallery. So I guess that Ubuntu by default has pictures. No, it doesn't. Oof, poor me. Um, just gonna pick up one picture. I have no idea. Uh, let's take this uh, logo. Um, so I cannot even take this. Uh, is it a picture here? Save image. Uh, something I guess I'm gonna find some images here um, that I can easily pick up mm -hmm. well by the way I think that you know how to let's say import a picture or anything like this so let's say okay uh, random picture random picture okay Okay, let's take this picture out and copy or even, yeah, okay. Let's take this out. So, um, yeah. So, save image as, yeah, put it in downloads or whatever. And we're gonna see oops, these pictures now within the gallery of oh, here we go. And you just need to start your upload. And that's it, okay? You have your picture within your first album like this. This is how Piwigo looks like. So you can upload as many pictures as you want. If you dislike the template, what you just need to do is to go um, over here in tools or was it configuration templates um, and you can in fact download your own templates so you can okay in my case it was a team okay and then you need to pick up the default for example and it's going to change the way the the gallery is made okay and you can like this of course upload uh, some different templates you can find them out within the uh, gallery and as well you can enjoy many many different plugins that you can find how there are any um, any free software just click here on install and it's gonna install them straight away and that's it for how you can install uh, Piwigo on a local server and already play with your own uh, image gallery. I really enjoy actually Piwigo because it's like a Flickr but open source. It's like uh, installing your own first uh, social network. And as an exercise, feel free to try to install Piwigo on your own. And small thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to share uh, this video with others or even your own experience. Thanks.